So this is the start of a uh, end table for some folks that I built a cabin for a couple years ago. And they had a walnut tree come down in their yard. So I've slowly been building some things for them out of their tree. Last year I built them a new dining room table. And now I'm going to get started on a little end table. So this is uh, some of the wood we've got left. And today I'm just going to glue up the top. So I'm going to, these are roughly cut to two feet. I'm going to run them through the table saw, clean up the edges, see how they match up. And then we'll use the biscuit joiner to uh, join the edges, clamp them, and let them sit for a day and a half or so. things up. I'm going to make a couple marks where I want to put my biscuits. And I'll take my biscuit joiner. used a biscuit joiner before it helps align the two pieces of wood you're going to glue up as well as the biscuits expand quite a bit rapidly with a little bit of moisture from the glue and uh, help hold everything together so now we'll get some glue slathered on and put them in the clamps A little pressure down. So before the glue starts to tack up, I'm going to Wipe the excess glue off. I'm going to look on my clamps and make sure my boards are staying nice and flat. Not cupped. And I'll put one more clamp on. And now we'll let her sit for a day and a half or so. So I've surfaced uh, the four legs and the aprons and the stretcher for the table. Um, now I came up with a way to put a little radius or a little detail on the foot of the legs. And you can see it's highly technical. I just found something with the radius that looked about right. 
So I've traced that out. I've got a couple done already. So now I'll go over to the bandsaw and cut that radius out. fence and a stop on the bandsaw here so now I'm going to take the waist out of the up the shoulders of the tennis made uh, the table starting to take shape a little bit so I can kind of look at the proportions I'm dealing with and see if it uh, aesthetically is what we're shooting for. Next up we'll be laying out the mortises and then uh, drilling and chiseling those and then we can start dry fitting some of the pieces. I've got the top uh, cut to a finish size and then I planed it down from about an inch and a quarter to an inch. So now I'm going to put a chamfer on the bottom side of the tabletop. happy to be indoors today. Um, I'm laying out the mortise for the aprons that go around the perimeter of the table. So I'm using my marking knife and establishing these edges. So I have a nice crisp edge to work with. And uh, then we'll go over to the drill press and take most of the material out and then clean up our holes with some chisels and then we'll check and see how it fits.
got all the pieces sanded and the, uh, the joinery cleaned up, so now it's time to glue our pieces together. Just using regular tight bond glue. Now that we've got it all clamped up, I will wipe up the glue before it dries, and then this has to sit for a day or so, and I'll work on the top and the bottom shelf, and we'll be ready to start putting the finish on. We've uh, had the table sitting in clamps now for about 24 hours, so I'm going to pull all the clamps off, and as you can see, you can never have enough clamps as they say. So we'll get these uh, pulled off and then uh, get the top attached. I struggled with uh, what to do for a bottom shelf on the table and kind of a dual purpose as well as being a stretcher to give the bottom of the table support. So I took another piece of walnut and then just uh, dadoed out the bottom here to sit on top of these cross pieces here. To accommodate the wood movement for the top, it has to be able to expand and contract with different uh, changes in the humidity or the environment that the table is in. I cut a, uh, a slot with the table saw to receive these clips. So the leg of that clip fits into that slot and then I'll pre-drill a hole fasten that down with the screw so the idea is is the top needs to expand and contract the clips will keep it in place uh, as needed so I'm using a uh, oil-based polyurethane and a satin finish for a pretty straightforward finish on the walnut I'll do two coats of this and a little cleanup and we'll have ourselves a done table. Thanks for coming along for the project and keeping me in my shop. <laughs>